Day 127, Ezra 8 through 10, The Process of Personal and National Purity, Chapter 8, List of the Family Heads Returning with Ezra, The Return to Jerusalem, 9, Ezra's Prayer about Intermarriage, 10, The People's Confession of Sin, Those Guilty of Intermarriage, the good news of Ezra's arrival in Jerusalem is tempered by the bad news of intermarriage in the community. Some Jews are permitting their sons to marry women from neighboring territories. Even priests, Levites, and civic leaders are involved. The process of personal and national purity is painful difficult, and time-consuming. Day 128, Nehemiah 1-5, Builders of the Wall. Chapter 1, Nehemiah's Prayers. 2, Artaxerxes sends Nehemiah to Jerusalem. Nehemiah inspect Jerusalem's walls. 3. Builders of the world. Opposition to the rebuilding. 5. Nehemiah helps the poor. As the walls begin to rise, Nehemiah's rebuilding corpse faces opposition. It seeks and finds a God honoring solution. Ridicule is handled with prayer. Threats or violence are dealt with by adequate preparation. Discouragement is met with a personal example of faith in God's power. Day 129, Nehemiah 6-9 Ezra read the law and the Israelites confess their sins. Chapter 6 Further opposition to the rebuilding, opposition to the completed world. 7. The least of the exiles who returned. 8. Ezra reads the law. 9. The Israelites confess their sins. The first half of the book of Nehemiah teaches valuable lessons about working for God. The second half emphasizes worshiping God. The public reading and explanation of God's word brings a sweeping revival to the city. Day 130, Nehemiah chapter 10 through 13, Dedication of the Wall of Jerusalem, chapter 10, The Agreement of the People, 11, The New Residents of Jerusalem. 12. Priests and Levites. Dedication of the Wall of Jerusalem. 13. Nehemiah's Final Reforms. With the wall in place and the spiritual condition of nation revived, Nehemiah now set about the task of consolidating and organizing the populace. One tenth of the people are chosen by the Lord to relocate within the city walls, while the rest remain in the suburbs. After an extended leave of absence, Nehemiah labors to restore national purity. Day 131, Esther 1 through 4, Esther made queen, chapter 1. Queen Bashitai deposed. 2. Esther made queen. Mordecai uncovers a conspiracy. 3. Haman's plot to destroy the Jews. 4. Mordecai persuades Esther to help. Esther is more than a story about heroism. It is the story of how God controls the destinies of people and nations in spite of harrowing circumstances and opposition. 
as they are faced with a deadly decision, should it she risk revealing her nationality in an attempt to dissuade the king, or should she protect her life and silently watch while her countrymen are slaughtered? Day 131, Esther 5 through 10, The Triumph of the Jews. Chapter 5, Esther's Request to the King, Haman's Rage Against Mordecai. 6, Mordecai Honored. 7, Haman Impaled. 8, The King's Edict on Behalf of the Jews. 9, The Triumph of the Jews. Purim established it. 10. The Greatness of Mordecai The final chapters of Esther's drama read like the ending of fairy tale. Mordecai is promoted, the Jews' enemies are destroyed, and Esther secures letters from the king establishing the Feast of Purim as a perpetual reminder of God's great deliverance.